The Assault Class. The most solid melee class with high mobility, amazing weapons, and crowd control to spare. You have your choice of standard bolt or heavy bolt pistols, and a choice between three melee weapons, the Chainsaw, Power Fist, or the Thunder Hammer. While the Chainsword and Power Fist are fun and offer great damage, nothing stacks up to the potential of the Thunder Hammer. Combined with your class ability, your jump pack, you can close distance very quickly and cause massive damage to multiple targets. By charging the Thunder Hammer, you can also make quick work of a single target, clearing out the little ones around them simultaneously. My build for this assault class is fairly simple and revolves around damage dealing rather than dodging or gun strike bonuses. This is mainly to benefit how I personally play this class, so I am by no means saying this is the build for you or even some top tier meta build you should rush out and apply to your character. The perk tree for this class is well made and I think people can craft their version of an assault marine and have fun with any setup. I don't think this can be said for every class though. This was the first class I started running ruthless level difficulty and was shocked at how easy it was. My main problem is you get lulled into a false sense of strength with this class and it can get sloppy. You can still get killed very easily if you make mistakes, but if you stick to a good rhythm, time your flights and executions, you should hardly be taking any damage. What you offer to the team when running this class is your mobility. If you have a heavy or bulwark in your squad and they are getting surrounded, take flight and rush to their aid with your jump pack. If you are the one getting surrounded, you can leap out of a bad situation and re-engage with the team. There are a few things to be cautious about. Your flight paths cannot go over areas where you cannot stand. Don't try to cut corners near stairs or fly from one platform to another when there is a huge bottomless gap between those two areas. It might look like you can, but you will stop at the extent of the area you are taking off from and just crash into the ground there, wasting your ability. Just be aware of that as you are moving around the battlefield and figure out where you can actually get to before you take off. Another thing to be cautious of is that you are very limited to your ranged damage. If you find yourself fighting a zoanthrope or neurothrope, you may find yourself very ineffectual. You can shoot it with your pistol, but you'll need to get it to move around to a spot where you can reach it with your melee weapon if you really want to make a difference in that fight. I often end up defending the ranged specialists in that case and just dodge its attacks. Spore mines are also a huge pain in the ass, since you only have a pistol as your ranged weapon. Thanks to some perks in your skill tree, I also think this class is very good at fighting all the other bosses. The Terminus and Extremist level ones. Carnifax, Hive Tyrants, Hellbrutes, Lictors, Raveners, Scarab Terminators, all of them are reasonably killable in a short amount of time. Overall, the learning curve on this class is very easy and you can start running Ruthless Difficulty in no time. It's been very fun running this class and it quickly became one of my favorite ones. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Get on it!